Hello everyone. Now I'm with um Convoy M21H here. This one um is a new version with um here. See that M21H 4219C um, LEDs. Okay, 4500K. Okay, four LEDs on one base. Okay. Uh, before that, I have already made um a review about M21H, but this one. Okay, XHP 70.3 high, 4000K high CRI. Okay. Um, both here, um, the same lens, but for a new one, it uses four LEDs. Okay. Very interesting. Um, the beam is quite floody. It is floodier than, um, M21S with XHP 70.3 high. Okay. Um, this flashlight, okay, um, uh, you can use 21700 battery, um, and USB-C charging port here. Okay. For the function of this flashlight, you can, um, do smooth ramping, step ramping, check the battery, and also um, it also has strobe, something like that. Okay. Okay. Um, let's um go outside and see some beam shots of um this flashlight. Okay. Hello everyone, now I'm with um, Convoy M21H. I'm at the basketball court here. This one is a new version with um, uh, four LEDs on one base. Okay. This one, um, uh, Nishia 219C, 4500K okay, on one um, copper base and then uh, with TIR lens. Okay. Um, the former version that I have is um, XSP 70.3 high. That one, okay, if compared to this one, this one is floodier than um, the former version. Okay, this is level one. Level one is good enough for walking around. Okay, but at the basketball court here, I cannot see the basketball goal there quite clear. Okay, let's go to level two here. This is level two. Okay, you see that? It is quite floody. Okay, the hotspot is not round. You see that? It looks like um, flower, something like that. Actually, it looks like um, square. Okay, look like a flower, but not bad. Okay, not ugly not annoying when you use it. I think you cannot notice um, uh, much different between um, round hotspot and hotspot like this. Okay. It's still fine for me. I have no problem with this um, hotspot. Okay. That's because of four LEDs. This is level two, okay, here. Really good tin. Okay. Oh, the rain is coming. Um, this is the house, okay, level two at about 25 to 30 meters. Okay. Let's go to level three. This is level three, wow. Okay, very good. Very good beam, quite floody. Okay. Wow. I think this kind of beam is very good for walking around the forest, trekking, hiking, something like that. Okay. It's quite floody. Okay, um, let's go to um ah, this level, okay. Um the highest level, level 4, will step down to about this level. The highest level um, lasts about 2 minutes and then it steps down to this level. Okay, Let's go to level 4 here, the highest level Okay, here. Um, I have to say that the highest level, um, it lasts 2 minutes and then it steps down to level 3. The heat, okay, it is quite hot. I cannot even touch the head. 4, LD, 4 LEDs cause, uh, cause a lot of heat. But I can still hold the flashlight. The body is fine. Okay. But for the head, it is quite hot. Okay, I think it seems hotter than um, XHP 70.3 high. It seems hotter than um, single LED. Okay, just my thought. Okay, just my thought. Here, I can feel the heat. 
I can feel the heat of the head. Okay. Oh, I can still touch the head. Okay, but ah, I cannot touch it now. Here, what I notice here, I think the heat goes up quite fast with these four LEDs. Okay. But for the brightness, for the beam profile, I think it's fine. It is quite satisfying. If you want M21 Edge um, with um, uh, flood the air version, this one would be great. Okay. XSP 70.3 high version can throw better than this one. Oh, I can feel the heat on the body of the flashlight. Okay. But I can still hold it. Okay, no problem. Okay, here. And I think it's gradually stepped step down okay it gradually step down so if um, you ask me which version is better um, if I have to choose I think I will choose XHP 70.3 high version because it can throw better okay it has um, similar spill okay um, why spill like this too but for the troll XHP 70.3 high version can throw better Okay, so I think I will choose that version. Okay, but this one is not bad. Okay, in my opinion, it's not bad. But it's quite hot here. Ah, I can feel the heat on my hand here. Okay, whoa, but I can still hold it. Okay, but for the head, I can't even touch it. It is quite hot. Okay, but for the body, it's still fine. I think it's about um two minutes now, and I think turbo maybe um. I think maybe it stepped down already to about um, level four or level, level three or higher than, than uh, level three. Oh, I can feel the heat. Ah, uh, it is um, uncomfortably warm, okay? Quite hot now. Oh, here. That's the problem about this version, I think about heat. Okay? Here, I think it stepped down to level three already. I can still hold it, okay? But it's quite hot, okay? Um, I live in the place that um, um, it is quite hot. My area is about um, now I think 27 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius. That's why um, I can feel a lot of heat on the body of the flashlight. But if I live in a cold place, I think that would be great because this flashlight can um, give you um, warmth, something like that on your hands. Okay. But overall, um, I think it is quite satisfying. Okay good beam and um, if you like floody version of M21H maybe um, this one is um, good for you but you have to be careful about the heat okay um, things for improvement um, another thing for improvement is about I think about the switch it would be great if there is a light on the switch let me show you I turn off and then turn on again here this is okay this is level 4 okay um, there's no light on the switch Okay, one, two, and three here. Okay, there's no light on the switch when I turn on, turn off. I think there should be indicator light, okay, about um, the battery. The light will show, will show, okay, only when you charge the battery. I think um, it would be great if it can show um, the light when you turn on, turn off. Uh, when, when you turn on and then show the battery status, something like that, okay, that would be great. Okay. That's all about um, M21H new version. Okay, I hope you will enjoy my review. Thanks for watching.